Hi everyone, this is Anna from All DIY Crafts and I got this cute little shirt. It's about a 2T or a 3T. And what I did was I measured it. And it looks like I can put a design that's approximately 5 by 5 comfortably. So I went ahead and cut my HTV vinyl that I got. White, shiny side down, and we'll put that in in a second. And I found a really cute design on Etsy, so we'll go there now. Okay, so I'm in my Etsy store right now, and I found this cute design by the SVG shop, and it says, Relax, my mommy is a nurse. And I think I'm just going to do this in a basic white, and I'm going to go ahead and just put it onto that shirt. So once you hit buy now, you have to wait. I've already bought it, so I'm not going to go through those steps. But once you hit buy now, um, you would then have to go to your um, cart, and once you're in your cart here, it'll say download files. You're going to be downloading that into a file. I would highly suggest you get a Dropbox account or something that has a backup in case your computer crashes. I had an external drive, it crashed and I lost everything. So I have a Dropbox account that I've gone ahead and I've downloaded this SVG file to. So once you have it downloaded into a file in your Dropbox, I went and hit upload and you could see usually what you would do is you just say upload image, you would hit browse. So I have it under Cricut SVG, sorry, and then I would find it here and then I would go ahead and click on it and it would download. So I already have it downloaded so I'm just going to go back to my regular file. I've already uploaded it so it should be here. I'm going to go ahead and click insert images. Now this image is a little big right now. It says 8.3 inches by 6.4 inches, which we already know is a little bit too big. I can do one of two things here. I can resize it this way, which is probably what I'm going to do because it'll keep the proportion. And I wanted to do about a 5 by 5, and I could go a little over and that would be fine. If I decided I wanted to make it longer than shorter, I would go ahead and click this lock and then I can adjust it that way. Um, so I'm going to try and get it back to where it was, which I think is pretty good right there. I'm going to just make this white and I'm going to go ahead and click make it and you can see it's right there. So let's go ahead and get the mat ready and we'll go ahead and cut. Okay, so now that we have our design weeded, um, I've checked the temperature requirements for my uh, heat transfer vinyl, and it's supposed to be a 300, so I'm going to turn on the machine, and I'm just going to go up to 300, and we're going to wait for it to warm up, and then in the meantime, what we're going to do is I have put it on our little Teflon pad here, and I've smoothed out all the wrinkles. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze some of the extra moisture out of the shirt. And then what we're going to do is we will go ahead and position this on the shirt. And we will then press it for 10 to 15 seconds. So once uh, this is warmed up, we will go ahead and make the shirt. Okay, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is... Um, the easy press is now at about uh, 180 to 200. I'm going to go ahead and put a Teflon sheet here. You can get these off of Amazon. They're fairly inexpensive. I'm going to push it down for just a little bit so that I could get any extra moisture um, off the shirt. And only for just a few seconds. And once that is done, we now have a nice clean surface. If there's any lint on this shirt or anything, you do want to take it off. And you're going to go ahead and place the design right where it'll look really nice. Now, you don't need to use a Teflon sheet here. I do just because I'm just used to working that way. So I'm going to go ahead. I have my design down. I'm going to put my Teflon sheet down. And then we have about 10 more degrees to go, and then we'll go ahead and press. Okay, so here we go, and we will now press down, okay, now we will remove our Teflon sheet, 
and we will pull up our design. And there's a little bit here that's not sticking completely, but we will put our Teflon sheet back down. This is why we want to use the Teflon. Looks so good so far. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this back down. And then we will push again for, I don't know, about five to seven seconds. Okay. And that will usually seal it in right there. And then we have a really cute little shirt, a piece of glitter there, sorry, that's just perfect. And there it is. Relax, my mommy is a nurse. Okay guys, thanks a lot for watching. This is Anna from All DIY Crafts, and I hope you enjoyed this. Please hit like and subscribe, and we will be back with more projects.